Okay, question 10 here is about forces, and you've got a block being pulled up at a constant speed by a cable attached to an electric motor. And the first question that you have to answer is you have to draw a force diagram labeling all the forces that are acting on the block. Now, our first force that we can label is the weight. We'll call that W. The next force that we can label is our reaction force. Now, the reaction force has to be at 90 degrees to the slope. So that's our normal reaction, R. And then the final force that is acting, one of them is already labelled for you, the tension. So the final force that is acting is friction. Now, friction acts between two surfaces, so it acts along the, the slope there. And that can be our friction. Okay, so that's part A. Um, now, part B, you need to calculate the magnitude of this frictional force. So first of all, we need to resolve our forces. Now, the only one that's not at right angles to all the others is the weight here. So, and we know that that angle, because it corresponds to this angle, is 12 degrees. And so we can say that, first of all, all the forces acting down the hill equal all the forces acting up the hill because it's moving at a constant speed so there's no net force. So all the forces acting down the hill are first of all friction, second of all there is a component of the weight acting down the hill and that component is W sine 12. And that, all of that stuff acting down the hill must equal the force acting up the hill, which is the tension. So that equals 4.2 times 10 to the 3. Now W sine 12, we've got W here, it's given to us as 1.5 times 10 to the 4. So F friction equals 4.2 times 10 to the 3 minus 1.5 times 10 to the 4 times sine 12 and that gives us a frictional force of 1081.3 newtons which to two significant figures because our question gives us data to two significant figures is 1.1 times 10 to the 3 newtons.